Yeah, here we go. Oh, here's, oh, this is a really good one. So now we'll go to another one, one of my favorite weeds. This is buffalo burr. This is an annual. And this is another weed that you find in pastures. Now, and probably not as much in pastures, but in feedlots, uh, or in the old days with the hog lots, where it's an annual, so it has a hard time competing with the perennial uh, forages that we find in pastures, if the pasture is actively growing at all. Uh, but if you have a feedlot where uh, there's little vegetation present, the buffalo burr uh, thrives. And again, you can see the spines. You have spines across the entire stem. Even the, uh, the fruit are spined. Um, it has leaves. I call the leaves, uh, they remind me of, of watermelon leaves, uh, deeply lobed and like the buffalo burr you can see the leaves actually have spines and so and there's spines randomly on the upper surface of the leaves and on the lower surface of the leaves and they have this really intense yellow uh, flower and these flowers are a little mature past their prime so they're not quite as vibrant yellow as they can be but that's a, a really good characteristic and so again this buffalo bird typically found in areas uh, where grazing animals are present and there's very little uh, forage for them and obviously they're not going to touch this mm -hmm. 